Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says replace the force F acting on the pipe assembly by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment around point A, which is right here. So don't let this problem intimidate you. It's simply one force. It's just that they didn't give you the Cartesian vector form of F. We do have though that the magnitude of F is equal to 80. So what we need to do is find the Cartesian vector form of F. To find the Cartesian vector form, we need to, we need to find f of x, f of y, and f of c. And let me draw them on the diagram so you see them. This is the x-axis. So this right here, let me see if I can make another color. Would that work? Yeah, cool. So this right here is f of x. This is y, so let's pick a different color for y. This right here is f of y and a different color for c. This right here is f of c. Let's go back to a regular color. Okay, so you have angles and you have a magnitude here. So now you can kind of start seeing how you're going to figure this out. So f of c, we can figure it out right away because we have a triangle here, which I'm going to redraw here from a different view. So this is f of c, this is f, and this is 30 degrees, right? So as you can see, f of c is f sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to 40 newtons. We got one. Now we got to find the other two. Now let me go crazy with the colors again and tell you that to find f of y and f of x, you first need to find this line right here, which we're going to call f of x, y, which is a projection of f on the x and y plane. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But basically by finding this line, we can get this other triangle, which allows us to find f of y and f of x. So if you don't get it, just follow along and you would get it. It's super easy. So to find f of x, y, you do f cosine of 30 which comes out to be 69.3 newtons. And now we got f of x, y. I'm going to redraw this triangle right here and it'll all make sense. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. So this triangle is basically, let's draw it like that. This is f of x, y, which we just found. Okay. This angle is 40 degrees. Now this is f y and this is f x. Now we have f of x y and we got the 40 degrees so we can find the other two easily by doing f of x would be f of x y sine of 40 which is equal to 44.53 newtons and f of x y cosine of 40 is f of y which is 53.09 newtons and with that we know that f is equal to 44.53 in the i plus 53.09 in the j minus 40 in the k and now we got f now all we need to do now is find r which is the vector that points to where f is being applied r and that is easily found i like to convert all of these to meters i don't like to leave them in millimeters okay so just an example 400 millimeters is equal to 0 
meters. So I'm gonna translate it directly here, but you guys should know how to do this, it's super easy. So R is at 0.55 in the positive I plus 0.4 in the J minus 0.2 in the K. So now we got R. So you know that the moment cost around A, some of the moments, but there's only one force, so the moment around A is equal to R cross F. I, J, K, we're gonna build our matrix. Here goes R, which is 0 0.55, 0 0.4, and minus 0.2. And here goes F, which is 44.53, 53.09, 54.09, and minus 40. We rewrite first and second column. Oops, keep doing this. Sorry about that. 0 0.55, 0 0.4, 44.53. That's a 3, I swear, guys. I swear it's a 3. 53.09. And now we're going to do our positive diagonals, our negative diagonals. You know, I love matrices. A lot of you hate them. But if you master them, you're going to love them too. At first, I hated them too, until I realized most problems can be solved with matrices. So, first positive diagonal, which is this one, let's put the equal here, is minus 16i. Second positive diagonal is minus 8.91j. Third positive diagonal is plus 29.2k. First negative diagonal, uh, it's on the K, this is minus 17.81K. Notice how I'm already piling them up, the Ks with the Ks, the Js with the Js, and the S with the Is. This makes it easy for later, planning ahead. Second positive diagonal is 10.62I. And last one is positive 22J. Add them together. And we're going to get that the sum of the moments around A is equal to 5.38 in the I plus 13.09 in the J plus 11.39 in the K. Now, you know that the force is on Newtons and the distance is in meters because remember, I converted to meters. So Newton meters. Final answer for the moment. And the resultant force is only one force, which is this one. F is equal to the resultant force because there's only one. So final answer for the resultant force. And I forgot the unit of the resultant force, which is in newtons. So final answer, final answer.